Welcome back to the World News, Episode 6. The day is the 6th, the last, the month is the chaos, and the year is 37 BS. Welcome to the World News. Today we have four breaking stories that we wish to inform the public of. Firstly, it has been confirmed that Sephira, the Queen of the Dragons, has been slain with witnesses describing her attackers as a warforged with a giant sword and a strangely black-feathered Eric Cochran. More as the story develops. We have also confirmed the reports that uh, those in service to both Calthoon and Tanrock seem to have lost their powers completely. And it is believed that both gods have vanished from the world. This has led to the appearance of four great worms that are now offering packs to worshippers in exchange for their service. More as the story develops. Next, we have a team on the ground in the continent of Rufio. It has been verified that the entire island nation of Goliath has been fully wiped from the world. This land is barren and no signs of any civilization can be found. It is now believed that the Goliath race is endangered and on the brink of extinction. This has met, led many to wonder, truly, if it was the protein shakes that they had created that caused their downfall. More as the story develops. With that said, we have two last pieces of major news that we wish to inform the public of. Firstly, reports of are flowing in of the giant fiendish army migrating from the South Pole to the previously Rakshasa homeland. It is believed that they are led by the Queen of the Underworld, Frodojin, the Eternal Frost. Her army is stated to number in the hundreds of thousands as the Great Migration begins. Uh, many of you may remember Frodojin as the right hand of Zilpip himself, the smallest dragon, and one of the most powerful demonic forces known to the world as of current day. Uh, a dwarf at the scene had this to say, Holy fuck, someone help me clear this damn dungeon before we are killed by Zilpip and his armies. Uh, that dwarf would, uh, would f later fall into a strange purple portal and not be seen again, according to our team on the ground. Uh, last bit of news for the day, uh, we have confirmed reports of a large migrating Loxodon horde, as many who had signed up for, with mercenary companies or led their lives underground have begun migrating toward the previous home of the Red Orcs. It is said that they can have a, the, or it is said that they can hear the ringing bells that is said to be calling to them. More on the story as the story develops. And lastly, we'd like to give you all a personal thanks. We here at the studio would like to thank you all for tu uh, for tuning in. It's unfortunate that we were only able to create this these broadcast crystals at the end of times, but from myself, Leaf Redstone, uh, last of the legendary hero of Enzorman's children, and my crew uh, of dedicated magic casters and reporters want to thank you all for tuning in, and we appreciate you all coming back week to week. We will see you guys, hopefully, within the coming week as more news breaks, and hopefully the world doesn't end.